Hi everyone, this is Dawn and welcome back to my channel. So I am coming on to share a, a large uh, Hobby Lobby haul and this is over mainly two trips but I know I did get a couple of things on another trip still in December so I was given a rather generous gift card um, for Christmas from my in-laws so that was um, really really sweet of them and I had a wonderful time spending it so um, let's get into the haul so the first things I thought I would share is more things um, that are like tools and so um, and everything I purchased just was either on sale or if it wasn't um, I used a coupon and you know at the different times different things were on sale but um, this is one of the things that I picked up these artist synthetic sponges I've been asked before about um, the sponges that I do to do my um, in my to do my inking around edges and things. And um, I do have the Tim Holtz applicators, but when I learned to make cards, I used these um, yellow sponges. So I just cut them up into smaller wedges and that's what I use. And these were actually on sale that day for half off. So I picked some of those up. And then I have never had one of these little um, precision uh, glue bottle so I picked one of these up to give it a try and I think I used my coupon on this and then I am in need of a new paper trimmer so I thought that I would try um, the paper studio one I really like the measurements on here and of course it has the arm that folds out and then it comes with a trimmer uh, blade and a scoring um, well, I don't know if you want to call it a blade, a scoring tool um, as well. Um, I have never not used um, a Fiskars trimmer before, so I'm going to give this a whirl. And then I also picked up um, uh, some additional blades. So, uh, yeah, we will see how that works out. And then I also picked up some of these uh, storage pockets. I love these. You get um, 10 of these, $12.99, and I think... Um, I used my 40% off coupon on this at the time, but when Paper Studio goes on sale for half off, you can get this, but um, I love to use these to hold things for projects or different collections together. Right now, I seem to have a terrible um, issue and I keep losing my glitter paper and I have tons of it and it's everywhere. And then, yeah, I'm gonna use these one of these to kind of keep it right near me and put my glitter papers in. So that is one of the things I have in mind to do. And then speaking of paper, you know, I cannot go in Hobby Lobby and bring out a little paper. So first off, let me show, and I hope there's not too much of a glare. This is a rose gold foil sheet, and it is a gorgeous color. So I picked that up. I picked up another gold glitter, another one of these mint um, glitter sheets. And this is what they look like. And they've got, you know, the colors down here on the bottom. And uh, I know I show these over and over again because I love them. And then this paper was over with the um, vellum. It's more of like a, a shimmer paper. So I got two of these in the pink. And then I picked up one of these thankful papers and um, this really cute holly. And I picked up this really cute snowman and then this lovely floral. And of course, these sheets are like four for a dollar all the time now anyways. So that is some of the paper. And then here are a couple of things I picked up on um, Christmas clearance. I picked these up from my daughter. This was the first year she used or did up her own Christmas tree, uh, my middle daughter. And uh, she did one of those little, um, the little like Christmas gnomes, like Santa Claus gnomes. And she had a lot of, a lot of red, white pom-poms, little grays and silver. So, um, got those for her and then look at this adorableness this was sitting all by itself um, they are just these large oh here oh they say shatterproof on the front these large um, thread spools um, they were normally ten dollars and I think when I got these Christmas things they were 80% off holiday value packs farmhouse I don't recall seeing these but um, these will not be Christmas ornaments for me. I know that I have some sewing projects in mind and I thought that was kind of great. So, uh, I was thrilled to find those awesome spools. And then, um, oh, here's another little tool that I picked up. Um, I really needed, um, new cutting pads for my big shot. So we got some of those and then I picked up, um, this little, um, uh, it's an embossing folder 
and die set and um, this was normally ten dollars and I know that this was on sale I think the day that I got it and it's got this tiny little embossing folder and then the dies to cut out these sweet little images and they are small but and even you have the word snow so cute so I really want to play with that and then these here I went um, to Hobby Lobby in December and I think I picked up one or two things when I went in that day and this was something I've seen some people using and really love this I have not gotten to play with it yet but like I said I picked this up earlier in the season and I cannot wait to play with this I was actually watching um, I think a Tim Holtz yeah Tim Holtz himself actually did um, a couple of videos um, showing hacks with some of his products and if I remember I will link those videos down below I thought they were really great so for instance the Santa card was one of the ones he showed and um, you know how you can put this in your die cut machine but put your paper not all the way up to the top of the the die cut so it will leave and actually you would fold your paper and that fold would not quite go up to the die cut so this would actually make a little card without cutting the entire image out and I thought that was such a great idea so I'm um, excited to pick those up and then I got a lot of various other little smaller items let's see we got some ribbon of course I probably hit most of the crafty sections so I got this great um, Christmas tree ribbon um, and then some wonderful pink floral and look at the little sweet pencils I've seen this before but I decided to pick it up that day and then I got this lovely um, ribbon it's like um, like a tan in the back and this great gold detail on it. I've actually used some of this really um, nice ribbon. So that is my ribbons. And then I got a little bit of fabric. So I picked this up, this great holly leaf in the fabric and this was two dollars and eight cents uh in a uh, over on the clearance wall so um i was happy to find that and then this here this was 75 cents i got a quarter of a yard of it it was three dollars um for the yard on clearance so look at the cute little birdies i thought that was really lovely so i just got um a quarter of a yard of that I'm thinking of making some tags or something like that really cute and then this was also on clearance i got a half a yard of this for a dollar fifty and uh, it's this cute little bunny some bunny loves me and just really, really sweet images. This is almost like a gauzy type of fabric uh, in the soft pink. So those are the fabrics that I picked up. And I had a lot of fun shopping, let me tell you. <laughs> I very much enjoyed myself. And then, let's see, we got a little bit of washi tape. And then I got a number of stickers. So here is the washi tapes. I picked this one up. Oh, this is actually coconut scratch and sniff. I didn't even notice. I don't know if I smell too much coconut. It might smell a little bit more, which I didn't even notice. It was scratch and sniff. But what I loved, you know, I love some summer themed items. So this tape here says, Hello Sunshine. And I think that just seems to repeat with the little suns. But then look at all the, the girls on their towels. They're just bathing in the sun. I thought that was absolutely adorable tape, so I picked that up. And then I've got this decorative tape. Um, this is a lovely, almost coppery rose gold floral, and then a black and white stripe. Very nice. Those are the only washies that I picked up. And then here are all of the stickery type items. So I picked up a couple of the llamas and the gemstones. Of course, these were a dollar. And then... Um, Let's see, I picked this up in the back, these fun little eyelashes, and then over in the Valentine's, I actually went back in the store um, to pick these up because I realized I wanted to go back and pick them up, but I could make a little tag with the eyelashes and the lips. I thought that was so cute. So I went back in to pick these up. So um, I was excited about that. Also picked up these little shaker hearts on the Valentine's side. And then here's some more gemstones, which are the flamingos. And then I picked up these little paper clips in the cute little girly motifs. Um, these are back by the planners, girly paper clips they're called. Um, so you got the bow and the lips and a lipstick and a shoe. How cute. 
And then I picked up this little pack of stickers. These were also over in the planner side, but all of these wonderful little um, summer motifs. You can, of course, put these in planner, but I think these will be cute um, added to a tag. Oh, look at the pink Cadillac even. I don't know if it's Cadillac, but cute pink car. So very fun. And then I picked up some of these rosettes. You can make them, but I love that these are already made up, and I love the, the colors and the metallics. And then I picked up some of these little girl stickers. So very cute. I love her. And then I got some of these. I don't know that I had seen these before. These are mermaids in a white glitter foam. Oh, look at her. She's even like a little girl. Really, really cute. And you even have some bubbles and a little starfish. And then I picked up um, this trim. I love to use this kind of thing. They have them in different colors. So this day I picked up some black. And then um, I picked up this um, planner sticker set. And I actually think, you know, you of course you can use these in your planners, but I thought these would also be cute on tags and summer projects. I'm feeling it. Not today, Monday, not today. <laughs> Anyways, they have all different little, um, oh my goodness, tape strips and uh, all kind of really fun little images, but a lot were in these nice summer colors and summer themes, so. Um, really, really fun. This is not something I would normally have picked up, I don't think, if I didn't have my uh, gift card that day. And then in the mixed media, I bought some of these great little um, off-white florals. And then I think the last type of things that I purchased um, was some of these charms. Now, I've said it um, a number of times that I am not a charm maker. But also in that hack video that Tim Holt shared, um, he was showing um, the bulb pins. They're like little light bulb shaped pins. And I know I have purchased some of Tim Holtz's pin. Well, I don't know why I dumped them all out in my hand, but um, I know a lot of people use these and I never really had before. Um, so I have now discovered these. Tim Holtz makes some and then I think I've seen these at Walmart, maybe at Joann's and maybe in the Hobby Lobby sewing section, if I'm not mistaken, but I, you can also purchase these just from, um, um, you know, in the sewing notions, I have seen some of these bulb pins at some of these stores. So I am storing these in a little jar and have realized that you can hang anything off of these little bulb pins. So I'm very excited to um, realize this and find this out. So case in point, I had picked these up Oh gosh, I don't know, some time back. And there are these little vans. So I've just put them up on the, my little pins. Here's a little fish that I found in my stash and I've got more little charms and things everywhere. I've also never um, used these little tiny Tim Holtz paper clips. And I don't know if I got them at Hobby Lobby or somewhere else. I found them in my stash and pulled them out here to put with my clips as well. These little mini, mini paper clips. I've never used those before. So, and then also too, in addition to the bulb clips, um, I've seen some folks just using small safety pins. So I picked up these gold safety pins and these were also on sale when I went to Hobby, La Hobby Lobby that day. So they are just little mini safety pins. So you can clip them onto a paper, a book spine, a tag, add, you know, attach them to laces and fabrics and whatnot. So these are the charms that I picked up and they were all on sale when I was there. And you know, the sales come and go all the time. So I got this great little pineapple and then I got these wonderful little pine cones and then I got this sweet little ballerina. And then I got this little flower pot. And then last but not least, I picked up these great mermaid tails. I have seen Dolly, the crafty mermaid mom, use these and other folks. And I had never really realized you got them at Hobby Lobby because I really don't visit the charm section very often. And then when I've seen them there before, they were either out of stock or they weren't on sale. Well, that day they had this one set there and they were on sale. So I was glad to pick up um, the Little Mermaid charms. So that is my fun um, January Hobby Lobby haul, maybe a little bit collective, like I said, over a few trips. So um, thank you so much to my in-laws. Um, anyways, I hope the year is off to a great start for many of you and uh, I'm excited to get back into some crafting. I'm not entirely sure when but at some point so if you like this video give us a, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for stopping by and watching and until next time.